Well, as Britain continues to ease lockdown and reopen businesses, several other countries are going in the opposite direction, reimposing restrictions as the virus flares up once again. Evelyn Laverick reports. Spain has put more than 70,000 people under renewed lockdown in the northwestern region of Galicia following a COVID-19 outbreak. From midnight Sunday until Friday, people will not be able to leave for anything other than work. The outbreak of some 258 cases is thought to be linked to bars in the area. The move comes just 24 hours after Catalonia also introduced a local lockdown to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Nationally, Spain's outbreak has been essentially brought under control. Italy is to put in place new measures to prevent infected people from spreading the virus. It follows the case in Veneto where a businessman who, despite showing COVID symptoms after a visit to Bosnia, still went to work. The battle against coronavirus in Italy has not yet been won, and thus it's right to maintain a high level of attention and take immediately adequate measures in order to prevent the spreading of the infection wherever it's needed. Kazakhstan has become the first country in the world to impose a second nationwide lockdown. It's seen a huge surge in coronavirus cases since the previous one, which has overwhelmed the oil-rich country's health care system. Shopping centers, gyms and swimming pools have all closed down for the next two weeks. It seems to me, unfortunately, lockdown won't help. Even now, people walk in the park without masks and they gather in droves. India has reported another record 24-hour jump in COVID-19 cases. With over 690,000, the country is now the third hardest hit in the world behind the US and Brazil. We're scared, but we still have to go out. Everyone in the world fears for their lives, but work is also necessary. Without the resources to increase testing, experts say the real number of infections must be far higher. Even Laverick, 